Well here we go, it's D-Day, it's Sunderland versus Portsmouth at the Stadium of Light, the biggest game so far this season, even though it's only three games in. Half past 12 start for the purposes of Sky Sports yet again, which means the Portsmouth fans have got to travel all the way down from Portsmouth up to the northeast for a half past 12 kickoff. It's ridiculous. Should have been three o'clock at half past five tonight. What's your thoughts, Ray? Well, I think it would be a fantastic game. I'm going for Sunderland at night, you know I always do. I'm going to go for a 2 0 win, win, and I think the two scorers will be the two M's. McGeady and McNulty. I thought he was sharp the other night against Patrick and Stanley, and I thought McGeady took his, he took his goal brilliantly well. So I'm going to go 2 0 Sunderland at the Stadium of Light, early kickoff, fantastic game, full house hopefully. Well, there we have it, Raymondo spoke. I'm going to go for a 2 0 victory or a 1 0 win will do me. I'm happy with any result. Any good win today is a win. So, Ray's going for the MM team. The MMs, McGeady, McNulty, and there's also Maguire and the two McLaughlins. A lot of M's in the team. A lot of M's in the team, definitely. I, I had to say McNulty to get, get another goal today. I think it's a fantastic player. McNulty, McGeady, and Maguire. The three MMs all starting the day, hopefully, and we'll get a win against Portsmouth who unfortunately have got to travel all the way from down south for a half past 12 kickoff. Whether they're staying overnight, maybe they have to, or set up at some ridiculous time in the morning like 2 o'clock. I feel sorry for them. Good set of fans. Hope they enjoy the rest of the season. Hope they have a safe journey back home to the south coast. But hopefully with no points and a victory today with Sunderland will make will jump them, leapfrog them over Portsmouth. Sunny Sunderland and one more thing. Wincy's watching the match with Jonas in Benny Dorm. 35 degrees, having a pint outside the pub. I'm jealous, but I hope we get a victory for Wincy. Hope you're enjoying your holiday, Wincy. Anything you want to say to Wincy, Ray Mondo? Enjoy it, Wincy. It'll be long before you're coming back. That's thrown over, son. You've made the most of the last <laughs> two days. Made the most of the last two days, lad. Hey, <laughs> definitely. Hopefully, we'll get a win, and he'll be celebrating with some um, San Miguel's. <laughs> yeah. Nick. In the view, Nick first. Right, Mick, what's the score going to be today? I I hope we don't get a draw again, but I'm hoping that we win about 2-1. 2-1? Two one. Two one. Yeah, one. Yeah, Almost the same side as against Zachary and Stanley. Do you think uh, we should go 4-4-2 four, four, today? Uh, it's, yeah. not the, it's not the best, but I think uh, we can stick with that. We have to win today, don't we? Oh, I've got a I've worse than 1-1 one, one draw. <laughs> <laughs> again? <laughs> again uh, <laughs> I made the deal with Carson and Finley and Archie, what's the score going to be today, lads? I think it'll be 1-1 or it'll be 1-0. 2-1. 2-1? Who's going to score? Maybe it'll be McNulty and McQuarrie. So is McNulty and McQuarrie your favourite players now? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. My favourite player. Favourite player, eh? Are we going to win the league this season? I think we might win the second second. Who two? Paul here and I've got a YouTube channel called Little Nana Iris and family if you watch that this is Callum massive subscribe to the Mad Mistake and all it's funny as hell thank you very much so Paul what's your favourite player today who's your favourite player this season it's got to, like, you've got to pick McGeady really haven't you McGeady it changes the game every time he comes on man excellent what's uh, the score going to be today pardon me what's the score going to be today uh, I've said 3-1 me like 3-1 three three one. One. He's, he's done some changes I just hope he plays the formation he did at Accrington. 4-4-2. Uh, that we won 4-4-2. 4-4-2. Like. I hope we can win today. dear. No more draws, no more defeats. Oh, I'm nice sick of that. We had bad plenty last season. Definitely. Can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> What's the score going to be today, lad? 2-1. 2-1 is going to score. Will Craig and McGeady. Oh, yeah. Craig's on the bench today. McGeady's starting with McNulty. Who's your favourite player this season? Uh, McGeady. McGeady, yeah? So, a little Nana Iris. Uh, little Nana Iris yeah. YouTube channel on Facebook. Uh, Subscribe to this blog, absolutely class. <laughs> nice one, enjoy the game. Thank you. Hey. Oh, Sunderland oh, 1, oh, oh, one. We went 1 0 down for 17 minutes. Oh, but we just got a fantastic header. I think from, was it Willis? I don't know where it was. Great corner left and a great oh, goal. One to Peach, come on!
on the half time score 2-1 to Sunderland coming from 1-0 down happily take that oh, hey. 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 Uh, bit sloppy defending for the first goal from Gortman but came back in Willis good header Maguire decent finish going at half time 2-1 up from 1-0 down pretty good absolutely fantastic isn't it yep very good all hail the king all hail the king all hail all hail, all hail. All hail. <laughs> <laughs> I made a deal with Kyle. Kyle, what's your thoughts on half time? Pretty good, really. Pretty good. Defense, defense of the first goal was terrible. Like. Two good Sunderland goals, one of Willison yeah. and Maguire. Great finishes. Second goal, McGeady got hit in the bollocks. He still ran forward, past the great ball of Maguire. All hail the King, what a 2 what 1 late at half time. Come on! Hey, no way. I made a deal with Sam at half time, 2 1 to Sunderland. Thoughts on the game, Sam? What a performance. It's really that bad. Hi, cheers lads. Enjoy the uh, joint. So what's uh, we're about to sit in the stadium? Uh, just South Stand up. South right? Stand? Yeah. You watch the videos there? Enjoy yeah, the vlog. Oh, yeah. Class. Thank you very much Sam. Enjoy the game mate. I made a deal with Pixelvic of Twitter. What's your thoughts on the first half mate? A bit like us do at the first 15, 20 minutes but I'm well impressed with us too. Oh, you solid. Well, well, I mean, definitely yeah. Well, well. I like the look of this Willis lad as well mate. Yeah good goal wasn't it? Good goal. Great header. Great error from here, but it was at the other end of where we are here, so I didn't get to take the yeah, ball. Oh, I just saw it flying in. Um, it's nice to see, it's looking a little bit more solid at the back. I think we are getting there. Yeah. But I still think this left hand pick yeah. left. Left hand side of defence is still a bit of a problem. Is that because we've got like a right back there and left back, haven't we? Yeah, That's I, a problem, we have, yeah, definitely. Left back playing right back and but definitely looking more solid. The nice. first 20 minutes we couldn't pass the ball, could we? Nah. No, yeah. not at all. Oh, I thought he would go again. No. When he went in, I was looking at the 15 minutes and I was waiting for the goal. Didn't Aye. go in, I went jump, he did in. What happened? 22 minutes. Exactly, yeah, I know, definitely. Yeah. Now. Chapman! Alright, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Joe, have you enjoyed the first half, lad? Aye, it was good. Nice to be winning 2 1 for a change at half time, isn't it? Now we can, now we can see that we, we've actually won. Yeah! Well, hopefully, we're hopefully. Lost. hopefully <laughs> <there's another laughs> Never over yet. Another after four. Yes, man. We're we'll checking the final score, baby. Oh, well, I was looking at this being the final score, but the way things are going, yes, the support we've got behind us, yes. I can see us getting another one. I hope so. Three points. It's, it's, the, it's the three points. We've got to see three points. Confidence in the team. Let's get this team up and running. There's one thing that's certain to do, it won't be 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and I did say 2-0, but I'm hoping 5-1 now. Come on! Come on! Come on! And the mad mistake for the SFC Fan TV. Rear, what's your thoughts on the match today? I thoroughly enjoyed the game. Thought we just edged it. Close, tight game as always between the two sides. But we just about deserved it, I thought. Could have had a penalty. Should have had a penalty, in my opinion. Definitely a penalty the second half, wasn't yes, it? Yes, I thought so. Who was your man of the match? Ledbitter was a, a stalwart, I thought. He was, yeah. had a brilliant game. And that Willis at the back, he had a good game. And going forward, I thought Maguire McGeady had a Played well. Um, I like Ozturk as well. Ozturk was good at the back. Good yes, money. he was. He was. He, he, Should bring Alice in the back. Yes, he is. And them two in the back played well. Wilson, uh, Ozturk played well. But my man of the match was Ledbetter. Ledbetter, eh? yeah. What were your thoughts on the second goal from Maguire? Oh, I thought it was a cracking crack move. Cracking move, mate. McGeady um, hit him in the nuts, didn't it? Yes. And he kept on running. Come on, get it in. Yes. Come on. Oh, well, <laughs> nice. Alan, what's your thoughts on the game? No, it was a good, good result today. Uh, unexpected, I've got to say. I thought we would have drawn the day. I would have took a draw. So, really, really happy with the win. Exactly. Today. What's your thoughts on Sunderland goals? They were great, weren't they? Sunderland goals were good. I thought um, McGeady did fantastic for the uh, the goal that Maguire scored. Uh, the touch. His, his little touch in the box was fantastic and he's knocked across exactly what was needed, just what we need at this level. 
Although Southern's, Southern's centre backs, Oz Turk and Willis. Oz Turk and Willis. Hard to follow them, especially Oz Turk. I think Oz Turk is absolutely immense at this level. Just what we need. I'd be happy. We go up at the end of the season. I'd be happy to take uh, take him up with us. I think he, no problem whatsoever. Really, Willis, fantastic in the air. A little bit to do maybe with the ball at his feet, but uh, but he's he's immense again in the air. He's what fantastic. About his goal for his height and so and again, everybody, you know what it is, right? Of course, you two Of course, we did. Everybody um, went on. You might me of Van Dyke. Van Dyke scored for Liverpool the other day. Brilliant, wasn't it? You know, what a everybody, everybody raved about that one, and he Excellent. did exactly the same as Van Dyke did. He's fantastic. What's his thoughts on Jack Ross for the season? Jack Ross, I'm still a Jack Ross fan. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of negativity about Ross and about his tactics, and sometimes his tactics you, you maybe struggle to to understand sometimes. But at the end of the day, you, you've got to stick with him. I think. We've Sunderland over the years we've done so much. How many times have we changed managers? We change managers and and it just doesn't work. We, yeah. I think it's cost us and cost us over the years. You've got to give somebody a try. I was pleased when we signed him. I was happy with his record in Scotland. Uh, and he's come down and at the end of the day last season, you know what I mean? We got the check and trade final. We got into the playoffs, that was his goal. He succeeded and he's he's done his goal. Stuart Donald said his goal this season, his, his goal this season is promotion, so judge him on that and see how he goes this season. I think you can question some things, but at the end of the day, he's a manager, he's, he's there, he's in charge, let him do his job and we'll judge him on his results. So far, so good. So the first two games played the wing backs and today, what, what system was today? Well, I think he, he referred to back to 4 4 2 at the yeah. start of the day, and I think it suited us better. I think it did in midweek against Hackney. We played much, much better um, against Hackney with the 4 4 2. So I think it suits the players better. I think the first couple of games of the season, for me, I think it's the players struggle to understand what Ross yeah. is trying to do, and I think that is the problem. Um, I love, it. I love a manager who can change his uh, tactics. But he's changed it, yeah. and. And he, he reverted, I mean, he brought Denver Hume on at the end of the day there, and he went back to five at the back, which is fine when you're winning 2-1 against a team like Portsmouth. You've got to try and hang on to it, because they did push under pressure. You know, we had, they had their chances, and they push under pressure, and that's fine. You know, he's gone back to the five at the back. Yeah. And he saw the game out, which is exactly. probably what we needed. I mean, the day was a great result, so what's your... What's your thoughts on the final finishing position this season for Sunderland? Where do you want us to finish? Obviously, I want us to finish. I want us to finish top. Top, yeah. Uh, think we can? I think we can. I think we can. I think we've got the players for it. And if the manager plays, I think Mark Nulty's been a good signing, and I hope, I hope that hamstring injury that he's picked up, I think, hope it's not too serious. I think he'd probably choose choose the night. Rochdale's probably come a bit too quick for him. I think he probably missed that one. Um, but it was great to see a Sunderland forward who never gave up and chased down every ball into the box again. Brilliant, isn't he? Long, long time since we've seen that at Sunderland, and I think he's been he'll be a fantastic signing for us. I think if we can get Greg firing, I think Charlie White when he come on, Charlie White did well today. He, you know, he, he battled well. And uh, and I think with White, with Greg, with McNulty, I think will be, will be the one. That's my prediction. McNulty yeah. will be the one that makes the difference this season. So today, who was your man of the match? Last question. Last so man of the match today, I would say McNulty. McNulty? I like McNulty. He went he, off he like, even though yeah. even though when he went off, I think up on, when he was on the pitch, he did fantastic. He chased everything down and never gave. You have a player with passion, don't you? A player that never gives up, that yeah. runs and, and everything. And that's, that's exactly what McNulty did. Nice speaking to you, mate. Nice right. one. Enjoy the season. Hopefully, we'll win the season. He Hopefully. said it. We'll win the league. Come oh, on. She has been a great day to day for Sun Football Club, a great game of football. An even better day for Jack Ross. So the day it's finished, Sunderland 2, Portsmouth 1, and that today is a fantastic result. That makes the season all oh, so much better after the poor start. Jack Ross playing the wing-back system, first two games, two draws, 1-1, one, one, 
really poor football has decided to change it. Played 4-4-2 against Aguilar Stanley. Another manager that realises when, when he makes a mistake, he's wrong. He's not stubborn, he's just wrong. And he changes it. And he played 4-4-2 against Aguilar and Stanley and we won. Today again, change it again. No wing backs to flat back four, which was McLaughlin in goal, McLaughlin at left back, our right back, Prin at left back. A bit unorthodox, but it worked today. Right back, Luke O9, who I thought was brilliant. I saw Luke O9 today run from the, from, from the right back position all the way over to the left back position and clear the ball into Rose Ed. That today was commitment, passion, dedication. Absolutely fantastic. Look on nine. Hundred percent summoned. Brilliant. And then Oz Turk. The Oz Turk. The Turkish defender. Oz Turk. Turkish delight, shall I say. Absolute beast of a player. No nonsense. If the ball's in danger, you fucking kick it in Rose Ed. And that's what he did. Absolutely brilliant clearance today. And you know, when you got Oz Turk in defence, and no nonsense, centre back. You got someone like Willis who will gain from that confidence and who can go forward and do what he did today. Absolute wonderful, a wonderful header. Willis isn't the biggest defender in the world, but he rose head and shoulders above the Portsmouth defenders. And some of their defenders were six foot five brick shit houses. He rose above them and scored the equalising goal today. What a beautiful goal from Willis. Brilliant. So centre backs. Willis and Ozturk. I can't fault them 10 out of 10. And then we go to the midfield. Now we, we got likes of... Uh, pardon me. Uh, right, so. I do excuse myself. After the match today, Raymondo twisted my arm, forces into the victory club, and had a few pints in there. But now... Like I said, in midfield, we had Ledbet and Power, the same midfield combination against Outwit and Stanley. Now, I thought them two would be tired off Tuesday, but they proved me wrong. Really good today, Ledbet and Power. We had McGeady, Maguire, Gooch and McNulty up front. Now, the first 20 minutes today, we couldn't pass the ball. We were like, like a Sunday league team. I, I mean, I do apologise, but we were like a Sunday league team. We could not pass the ball for Toffee. Absolutely pathetic. The first 20 minutes, we were absolutely garbage. We couldn't st couldn't string two passes together. More words than I can say. First 20 minutes, we couldn't string two passes together. It was an awful passing. Every player in that site the day for the first 20 minutes was underperforming. And then the danger man for Portsmouth, number 19, Harness. It was brilliant to do that Harness, man. I tell you what, Harness was fantastic and their defender number six I don't know who he was but he was built like a fucking double brick shit house absolutely massive but Harness today scored the goal it was a lucky goal because we tried to get it clear a couple of times and it fell perfectly right three times for Portsmouth and they put it away to go 1-0 up after 17 minutes here we go again 1-0 down I figured the worst I thought there was no way back from you know, we came back against Oxford. We luckily came back against Ipswich. And I thought against Portsmouth, we wouldn't come back. But Southern football team, do what they do best. Prove me wrong. They came back. Led bit of corner. When Portsmouth went 1-0 up, we started passing the ball well. We started playing good football. And we got a corner. Led bit of, you know, it was like an outswinging corner. And Willis rose higher than anybody. What absolute awesome jump that was. Brilliant. Perfect header, bottom right hand side corner of the goal because I was in the south stand and the keeper had no chance. What a fantastic finish from Willis. And then after that, Golden Balls himself. Never mind the David Beckham's. Aidan McGeady, Golden Balls. Not because he's brilliant on the ball, because he came steaming through. One of their players cleared the ball. It bounced straight from McGeady's nuts, Golden Balls. I never stop. I mean, the normal man on the street would be down on the ground, doubled over in agony, in pain, because he's nuts. Two meats, two meats and veg, two veg and meat, smashed in two, would have been on the ground, but McGeady, 
Mickey McGeady is more than a man. He's a machine. He's a hundred percent son until I die. Absolutely awesome. He took it in the nuts. He ran with pain straight through the barrier. Crossed it over, Maguire open goal, bang, 2 1 something. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, McGeady. Well done, Maguire. 100% Sunderland till I die. Absolutely fantastic. Took a 2 1 lead in the second half. Now, second half, Jack Ross came out with the same size, but eventually, unfortunately, Minotti had an injury, came off, and Charlie White came on. Charlie White was awesome. Their two defenders had to take Charlie White, and Charlie White gets nothing. He, he does nothing wrong for me. He jumps for the ball, six foot up in the air, he gets a good tackle in, but the, the referee always wants to give a foul against White. There wasn't many fouls against White today, but he was, you know, to be honest, it was hard, it, 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 it was harshly done by. Charlie White put a good performance in the day, well done Charlie. And I have to say a big well done to John McGlock in the second half. He saved something two or three times. Even from his own player led bit of rid of the ball back and John McLaughlin saved it. Crosses immense, saves brilliant. He kept us in the game today, John McLaughlin. If we had the keepers of the past, we would have drew or lost. But today, John McLaughlin, well done. Second half performance, brilliant. Like I said before, centre backs, Oz Turk Willis, fantastic 0 9, never stopped running. Colin McLaughlin, out of his position, did okay, did really well. And the midfield led bit there. Who did really score no goal and power great, but McGeady, Maguire, McNulty. It was a wall round team performance today. We did the business today. We leapfrogged Portsmouth, opened the fourth place before the rest of the game started playing today. Outstanding performances today. I would have to say Lincoln City four nil winners. Oh my God! I said Lincoln would do well today, and they are almost the top of the league. I think they're actually gone above Blackpool on goal difference. So well done, Lincoln City. Top of the league. Brilliant performance for you today. Well done, Blackpool winning the day. I'm not sure about the rest of the teams. But all that matters is Jack Ross has actually learned from the first two games of the season and has changed the system, adapted, and we look good today. We look good against Akron Stanley and again today. So well done, Jack Ross. Jack Ross, you deserve to be in the job. I wanted to give you 10 games. And so far, you're doing yourself proud. So hopefully, during the week, we can get a good result against Rochdale and a good result next Saturday at the Stadium of Life against Wimbledon. And well done today. And all I want to say as well, a shout out to Pixel Rich and his Wingate crew on the Wingate Sunderland Supporters Bus. Nice one for supporting the channel. And all you Sunderland fans out the day that I've met, fantastic result today. This is what life's about. This gives you a smile. You go home and you're happy with your life, with the rest of your, your day. I'm, I'm over the moon. Cheers to every single son and pay out there today. You've done yourself brilliantly well. Beating Portsmouth, I won four. I think Portsmouth, you know, they've got a good side. They'll do well for the rest of the season. And I hope Sunderland win the league, Portsmouth comes second, and we'll catch us later. Well done, the lads. Get in. Tell you now that we have got Mark. Mark McNulty, Mark McNulty, he will score us the goals we need to get out of this league. I wish Mark McNulty all the best. I hope he gets back from the injury. Hopefully it's not too bad. And hopefully see you against Rochdale during the week when hopefully we'll beat them as well. See you later.